From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. There's more reaction from the government to that recent United Nations criticism of its Abaco Shanty Town policy. This time it's coming from a works minister, Deputy Prime Minister Bannister, and he's not holding back. It has come to a point where we have to decide whether we're going to have a society like the Bahamas or we're going to have a society like Haiti. And any of you have been to Haiti? You'll see what happens there. Dirt, garbage, shanty houses all over the place. The ministry has been removing new illegal structures being built there in violation of a current court injunction. The UN criticism says that violates human rights to adequate housing, among other things. Bannister says he has a job to do in Abaco, and there's a good reason to do it. The consequence of me not doing my job is that we can have a spread of E. coli in Abaco. Innocent people, the water in Abaco may be contaminated and people could be sick. We could have a constant, widespread enemy in our country where people decide that they're going to go on other people's land and take it over. Supreme Court Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson is still to release her ruling on the overall government shantytown policy, being challenged by 177 shantytown residents represented by Queens Council lawyer Fred Smith. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Ministry of Health officials have confirmed now that more vaccine is in country. Another 33,600 doses arriving yesterday. That means we've had more than 80,000 in country to date. Now health officials will try to find ways to get people to take it. There's serious concern about vaccine hesitancy. Monday's numbers show a decrease in corona cases, 25 for the country total, spread over three islands, and as has been the case lately, most of them 23 in the capital. Single cases reported in Andros and Exuma. Those hospital numbers continue to cause some concern. 55 persons in now, 6 in the ICU. No additional deaths have been reported. That total remains at 214. Police looking into the discovery of the body of a man on a soccer field here in the capital. No sign of foul play. They'll need an autopsy to determine how he died. 26-year-old Anton Johnson in court yesterday charged with having sex with a 15-year-old girl. He's being held without bail for now, but can apply. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, partly sunny, highs in the mid-80s. 86 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, chances showers, lows from the mid to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's world news headlines increasing calls for de-escalation as tension mounts in the Middle East. Israel and Hamas have been trading rocket fire as tension mounts between the two. A number of casualties have been reported already. A warning from the Red Cross about the coronavirus spread in Asia. It says it's exploding there with more than 5.9 million infections in the past two weeks alone. That's more than the Americas, Europe, and Africa combined. They are still trying to get control of the spread in India. Health officials there suggesting that lockdowns now in place should be kept in place until that happens, and that could take up to eight weeks. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, no changes. Shell 486, SO 494, rubles $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on Jazz Chisholm back playing now. 
but not back with the Marlins' big team yet. Find out how his rehab is going. Get the rest of the Major League Baseball news also. Latest on the NBA, the Kings win again, still on the outside looking in, but still with a shot at the playoffs. 23 points for Buddy Hill in the win over Oklahoma City. DeAndre with just eight points and eight rebounds and a loss to the Golden State Warriors for Phoenix last night, but the Suns are already in the playoffs. And get the latest on international soccer and the Olympic Games preparation in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. All of your sports details. You want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.